Yo, it's Jimmy on from Glitchy Thumbs. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna look at the Build Box 3 RPG example. Let's go. So I'm gonna go to youtube.com. I'm gonna look for the Build Box 3 RPG. And the video is right here. So just give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, this this template's like a joystick mechanic um, it looks like you can explore and interact with the objects around you um, I really like this mechanic uh, simply because it's uh, there's, a, there's a lot of games at the top that, that has done well with the joystick mechanic and I think this has some legs if you have a really good idea with it and I saw a few good ideas um, and I'll show that later in the video but uh, so far it, it looks good the animation looks good I think the animations being used right now is with PNG sequences so we'll, we'll, we'll take a deeper dive into the template that I saw on the discord um, and we'll, we'll do a little bit of that I don't, I don't think there's 3d animation just yet in Bill Blocks 3 um, there's mainly just OBJ files and uh, let's let's go to the discord and uh, check out that template I know it's shared by Sean in the discord so shout out to Sean for sharing this and it's right here if you click you can search through the billbox discord just to look for specific things I know I've, I've been reading a lot of the the messages on here and there's a, there's a lot of resources in there you just kinda have to find them um, so Let's download this and take a look at how everything works. So, again, I'm currently using Billbox to basically uh, demonstrate my my thought process. It's a little bit easier to explain if I'm um, using a a software to to build games and prototype. Um, I don't code myself, nor do I design. Um, more so of the idea guy, so that that really helps my thought process to actually go into the software and just play around with everything. So let's go into the 3D world and see. Right now, let's hit play. So right here, we see the character. And we see a joystick. When you touch this joystick, you can walk around. And you can see this arrow is the direction the character is facing and it's, it seems pretty smooth um, let's take a deeper look so yeah I, I don't see the character here so you would probably have to look into it a little bit deeper we can see the arrow we can see the shadow we can see the object and if you click the actor which is the character you can see a little bit more to the node system if you hit start um, I guess it's set on kinematic and there's two 3d models connected to it I'm assuming this is yeah this is the the shadow and this is probably the the square that object that we're seeing and it's connected to this vector move um, node uh, I'm not too sure about the coding probably have to look at this a little bit later I probably won't be able to understand it be honest um, but it's connected to the state machine so there's two states there's an idle state where the character is not what, what happens when the character is not moving and then there's a walk state uh, what happens when maybe the the player is interacting with the screen and that's probably how the walk gets executed and let's take a look at the idle so it looks like there are eight directions we have to get assets for let's take a little bit deeper dive click the pencil I can see there's 20 frames so this is how the up um, direction looks with the PNG file so there's probably 20 PNG um, files for the for each direction so if there's eight if there's eight directions and there's 20 frames that's about um, 100 
60, I believe. Yeah, 20 times 8. So yeah, this is about 160 per state. So there's two states. So this is about 320. Um, yeah, 3 320 total uh, animation assets. You kind of have to design for this. But since I'm not the designer, I'm gonna have my team member do that. Um, we'll we'll come up with something that's working right now. It's mainly kind of like the humanoid ragdoll type feel to it and I'll show you a few examples of that later um, but I kind of want to make sure that that's how many frames we need so let's um, export this project and usually you can export like a template and you can take a look at the asset uh, at the atlas file and you can kind of see you know how many assets you, you kind of need to to design for so that's what I'm doing so um, while it's exporting um, let's actually take a look at those two games that I was talking about so the humanoid dummy characters work really well right now it, you know a lot of games are using it and if you have an idea about with with those um, ragdoll type characters it, it could work out and the joystick mechanic seems pretty promising but you know it, every mechanic or prototype you, you just never know what's gonna work so let's take a look at push them all by OHM so yeah this is basically the joystick mechanic with this little humanoid dummy character and all you're doing is cleaning those red characters off the screen so yeah this this is definitely a good idea at least for a prototype um, and this, basically you can build or create a character try to use the joystick mechanic and try different ideas um, and I just that print seems pretty simple so then another mechanic um, that I really liked which is not a joystick mechanic but I mean more so I, I like the character look how smooth he looks looks how looks pretty clean um, you could make this a you know a joystick game if you wanted to so more so a swipe mechanic and uh just like that the the 3d model is really nice on the human humanoid character so yeah these are two games that i'm looking at um I'm gonna have my team member probably you know build out or design some some humanoid dummy characters and we'll, we'll play around with this mechanic and hopefully I can prototype something and we'll we'll see how that goes so let's take a look at the Xcode or not the Xcode but like the resources file so if you go into the after you export the, the folder and you go into um, the project and click iOS click resources click data Click atlases. You can see this atlas file contains all of the PNG files that were being um, used in Billbox 3. So we counted 320, basically 320 animation frames that you kind of have to design to use to make it look really, really smooth. So let's just count this out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 times 22. Are around the same number that you know we we came out to be so around 3 320 330 was the number um i mean to me that's that's quite a lot of frames we're not not too sure if we do need that many but it, it does help to have more frames to have a smoother animation so and we'll we'll, we'll I'll, I'll have my designer come up with something and let's see if we can get a prototype going with this um, template and see if we can have 
a full video of basically my, my thought process starting with this one as the first video all the way to um, maybe having a prototype ready for a publisher so if you like this content please like and subscribe it really helps and take care peace